Here are three ways to use the Constrain Symmetrical tool in FreeCAD's Sketcher Workbench. To get started, let's click on File, New. Now let's go to the Part Workbench, Part Design Workbench, that is, right here. Click here to go to the Sketch Mode. Select the XY Plane. Click OK. Now get your line tool right here. Create line. And draw a diagonal line. Next, let's make the line 40 millimeters long. Click OK. Next, let's set the angle to 45 degrees. Of course, you could use any angle of your choice. Click OK. Next, let's make sure that Snap to Object is selected, but Snap to Grid is not. Now let's come over here, click on the Create Point tool, and let's put that point on the line at an arbitrary position. Right click. Now click the two endpoints on the line, and this arbitrary point that we put on the line, and then use the Constrain Symmetrical tool to move that arbitrary point to the center of the line. Next, select the arbitrary point which is now located at the center of the line and click the intersection of the horizontal and vertical axis. And we're going to use the Constrain Horizontal Distance tool and we're going to set that to zero. And this will move the diagonal line such that the center is located on the vertical axis. Now we can, if we wish, click on this zero dimension here, this constraint, and delete it if we like. To set the vertical distance, for this diagonal line, choose any point you like. For instance, we could choose this left endpoint. Choose the intersection of the horizontal and vertical axis. Click on this tool, the Constrain Vertical Distance tool, and set that distance to whatever you desire. In this example, we'll use 5 millimeters. Now you've located your diagonal line with the center on the vertical axis and at a defined height above the horizontal axis. Next, we demonstrate how to use the Constrain Symmetrical tool to center a rectangle on the horizontal and vertical axis. To get started, let's delete the diagonal line we just created by selecting it and hitting the delete key. Then let's close the report view screen down here at the bottom. And while remembering that we're on the Sketcher workbench as shown right here, and that we're working on the XY plane, click Create Rectangle right here and draw a random size rectangle on the screen. Click and right click. Now note, if we try to use the Constrain Symmetrical tool now by clicking the top two points on the rectangle and then clicking the vertical axis and then clicking the Constrain Symmetrical tool, we get an error. This is due to 
redundant constraints. So let's close the report view window and hit Control Z and try this again. So to avoid this error, click right here and click Auto Remove Redundance. Now let's try again to center the rectangle on the vertical axis. First, click the top two points on the rectangle. Then click the vertical axis. Then click the Constrain Symmetrical Tool. And kaboom! We have the rectangle centered horizontally on the vertical axis. Now let's center the rectangle on the horizontal axis. First, click the two points on either the left or right side of the rectangle. We're choosing the left. Then click the horizontal axis. And then click the Constrain Symmetrical Tool. And kaboom! Now we have the rectangle constrained horizontally and vertically around the center of the XY axis or to the center of the horizontal and vertical axis. Finally, here's an alternate way to center the rectangle on the horizontal and vertical axis without the Auto Remove Redundance option being selected. First, let's uncheck the option by clicking here and then clicking here. Next, let's delete our current rectangle and create a new one on the XY plane. We select the current rectangle, hit Delete. We get the Rectangle tool here, draw a random rectangle here, click and right click. Now let's tell FreeCAD what size we want the rectangle to be. To do that, we click the top line and click this tool right here, the Constrain Distance, and let's make it 40 millimeters. And then let's click the side here, and let's make it 40 millimeters. So now we've constrained the sides of the rectangle. We can move the dimensions. Next, we want to click the opposite corners of the rectangle. Click there, click there, and click the center of the horizontal and vertical axis. And now click the Constrain Symmetrical Tool. And da-da! We have centered the rectangle on the intersection of the horizontal and vertical axis. So that's three ways to use the Constrain Symmetrical Tool, which we hope will give you some idea of how to use the tool in your endeavors. Thanks for watching.